My name is the Alpha Boss. This is a Boss Wolf vlog. What is popping, guys? Not much is going on today. Uh, I have something in mind that I want to talk about. Uh, you know that you love my series on on every on everything that I do. But I just thought of something really cool. I call it the New York City Stories. That's why I'm going to name that series. Because I got a funny story to tell. Uh, last year when I went down to New York City with my cousin, the L.A. Wolf. Something happened that that was so funny. First, after the, uh, when I was at the Yankee game, they were they were playing against the Detroit Tigers, and bottom of the fourth, back to back to back home runs by the Yankees. I was excited. All right, so because. My guy, who was number 27, Stanton, I like him a lot, he's a good player. So he, again, back to back to back home runs. By the Yankees, the final score was 7-5. Seven, seven, uh, seven so happy, me and my cousin go back to our hotel room, get, we got uh, like washed up a little bit. You know, then we, then then we go out drinking until two o'clock in the morning. We go to one place. We have about uh, like three beers right there. So I have three. Then I had two more. And that 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 would be like, like five beers. And then here's the funny part. My cousin. The L.A. Wolf. I'm sorry. I have to name him that because I don't want to. I do not want. I do not want his real name in my video. Um. He introduced me to a shot. Um, and it got me drunk a little bit, and it was a Sam Booker shot. I'm looking at it. Yeah, and the bartender says. I don't want any strikes on this channel, but I want to, and I don't like to swear, swear on my channel either, but I took the shot in my hand, and then this bartender says, drink up your, no, 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 drink up you vagina. I'm like, what did you just call me? And, and my cousin says, drink. I, I down that shot. Like that. Got another one. That's two shots right there. I'm out. Right? So, I almost drunk that night. A hot looking chick was down at the, at the other end swearing and um, making a scene with the bartender crazy. Two o'clock in the morning, we go back to the hotel and sleep. Before that, we had the TV, the TV on. I was out of it. I, we had the TV on, and I was going through every channel. I'm not going to say that. I am not going to say these real words on camera, and I don't want to. Um, I said every swear word in the book towards a TV channel. Like, I, I'm not going to repeat what I said, but the funny part was, from channel 1 to 100 swear words towards the, towards the TV screen. Next thing you know, I'm not going to say this, but my my cousin, the LA girl, says, uh, shut the beep up and go to bed. So, I go to bed, next thing you know, the next morning, he says to me that I had a girl in my 
B-E-D. And I heard someone go out of our, our hotel room while I was sleeping and he was sleeping too. This was like around like, like 4 in the morning, like 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry, I don't like to uh, say these kind of words in my video, but this is, this is what I'm saying. The bunk tender said it, not me. Because what I really wanted was my first shot of, of, um, uh, I had one shot of a Sam Booker shot. Then I, then I, I really wanted, um, whiskey after. But, it was, I had two of the Sam Bookers. I, I was out of it. I cannot believe that bartender. He had to say that word to me. And I'm like, I was offended by it a little bit. All three of us clinked, gla clinked glasses. And then I got down one. And went another one? Yeah, let's do it. Got another one? Two shots. That's why I don't want, I do not want you to drink. Me, it's, to me, it's personal. I cannot say on camera. The only thing is about my dark side, when I'm with my cousin, the LA Wolf, he is my personal lives. Excuse me for one sec here. He is my personal devil. Let's put it that way. Because uh, before everything happened, I got my suitcase and he says to me, get in the car, um, B word. That's what, I don't want to, I don't want to swear, but I'm afraid to. But, um, he said, um, he says, um, some sort of a swear word that starts with a B. I'm not going to say what it is. But then I went into his, his vehicle and I said it back to him. We had so much fun. We were, we were listening to Kiss, listening, listening to Blindie, Call Me, Heart of Glass, Heart of Glass. It was lit, guys. I enjoyed I enjoyed it, and that's my first time that I got actually drunk. That's what I'm saying. To me, I can handle this. I can handle the drinking part, but I don't want to go overboard to get a coma. I don't want that. I don't want to go into heaven and visit my father. No, I want to stay here. And that, um, that's why, um, when I was watching Monday Night Raw, they were doing something special about, about, for the soldiers, and for stuff like that, I start, you know what, I started, no, I started to, I can't even say my own words, I started to cry, because, my father, which I told you, he was based in Germany a, a long time ago. All right, so I so I stood up, went, went over towards my bed, and I and, and, <clears throat> and I saluted to my father. All right, number one. All right, so now that's a. That's what I'm going to do from now on about uh, our cause series that I'm doing is called the New York City Stories. Because I have a lot of stories I can tell you about New York City. Because I've been there a lot. Um, before I end the video, I want to inform you. There's a baseball player that... that my father knew who used to play with the Yankees. Um, I forgot his name, but he gave us free tickets.
Ah, I'm I met the players. Oh, uh, like you know how um they were like walking into the the baseball field and stuff, like going in, you know, with the gates. My hands out and each player goes, and I go, let's go, boys, let's go. Every Yankee player, uh, one came up to me. I think it was Dale Stewart. No, he's from the Mets. Excuse me. Uh, I, I think. Uh, I forgot the, the guy's name. Oh, I know who it was. Don Manningly. He came up to me and goes, "Kid, I like your hat and I and I like your shirt." Then I go, "What's what's the name on your back?" I and, and I showed him and it said, uh, "Number twenty-three, Don Manningly." He loved it. He he signed it for me and stuff like that. It was awesome. I can tell you so much stories about New York City, but this one wasn't was the most important one. All right? So favorite, favorite, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I have so much. Oh, and turn on your post notifications. Turn on everything else. Be informed with every video. Turn on your, turn on everything else. This means a lot to me. That's why I want to, I don't do like like every series, but if I think of a series that I want to do, I would I would do it. For example, the devil excuse me, the devil inside the wolf. That's my personal series. Cause you need to understand why I'm doing that. To the New York City Stories, that's another series, because I, I can tell you a lot more about New York. And I went to Boston, but that's kind of, um, I, well, it's kind of private, though, I can't say. It's something to do um, about what I had. I'm not going to talk about that, because it's too personal. I had a, a serious operation, and I could die. But, I'm still here guys, I'm still here. But, the whole point is, don't follow the wolf. Don't follow anyone else for their drinking stuff, alright? Don't do it, let me do it. And my cousin too. I'm sorry. I am the alpha boss. And the Alpha Boss says this to you. Be kind to each other on YouTube. Right? Me, I take everything seriously. I see you on the flip side of the wolf.